and let's get started moving. Ready? Yep. Okay, we're going to put that ball between our ankles. We're standing on our mat, feet parallel, hip width apart, soft bend in the knees. So we want to make sure our weight is even in both feet. Feel like we're not rolling in toward the arches. We're not pronating it, but I also want us to feel like we're not supinating. So really find that weight even side to side on our feet, even front to back. Let's take a big inhale, bring our fingertips to the ceiling, turn the palms away from each other, press those arms down. So just getting some movement through the shoulders. We're not doing our roll down yet. And we inhale, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, hands come down in front. Two more like that. Inhale, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down in front. One more time, growing taller as our fingertips come to the ceiling. Right back down in front. Now we're going to continue with the arms, but as we bring those arms down in front, we're going to sit down into a squat. And when we inhale, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, sit back into those heels, hinging slightly forward at the hips. Shoulders relaxing out of the ears, even as we reach for the ceiling. Toes light on this mat. We want to sit back into the glutes. Think warming up through the low body, hips, knees, and ankles. Belly button pulling away from the t-shirt. And we've got four. Three. Two. Last one, we're going to sit it down, hold it down. Hold it down. Let's bring those hands to our hips or prayer or genius, wherever you like them. And we're going to pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse and four, three, two, one. Right back up to the ceiling. Arms come long by our side. Okay, shake everything out a little bit. Let those arms hang heavy and just sway side to side. So I know when we do Elizabeth's classes, she always calls this girl in a park. Yeah. Feel that ball rock side to side. Feel this movement through the entire body. So we're not trying to keep that pelvis stable. We're letting everything twist. It's getting movement through the spine, loosening up. One more to each side. And let's come back to center, arms along by our side. Inhale, top of the head reaches for the ceiling. Exhale, nod chin to chest, roll it all the way down. Let everything hang heavy at the bottom. Gently nod our head, yes. Gently shake our head, no, release any tension. Come back to center, inhale, soft to the knees, exhale, scoop the abs. Roll it up, bringing those fingertips to the ceiling. Palms turn away from each other, press those arms out and down. One more time, inhale, hands come to the hips. Exhale, nod chin to chest and roll it down. Everything hangs heavy at the bottom. Head hangs heavy, arms hang heavy. Okay, I'm going to turn to the side here so you can see. We're going to soften those knees if you need to. Bring the hands to the mat. Walk the hands forward and bring those knees down. <laughs> so it's a little awkward with that ball, right? I just we have the ball still between our ankles. We're going to curl the toes under just like we're getting ready to plank. Check in here, we're strong through the shoulders. I like to internally rotate my fingers just a little bit. It's nicer on the wrist. Neck is long, we're going to a couple of cat cows. Big exhale, slide to the ceiling. Tuck that tail. Inhale through center. Exhale into our happy cow. Dropping the belly button toward the mat. Inhale through center. Exhale into our angry cat, tucking that pelvis, rounding through the spine. Inhale to center. Exhale into our happy cow. Neck is in line with the rest of the spine. Tailbone reaching up behind us. One more time. Inhale to center. Exhale into the angry cow. Inhale to center. Exhale into our happy cow. Okay, find that neutral spine. Still have those toes curled under. Now we're going to sit our hips back over that ball. We're going to come forward over the wrist. So think about getting this movement through the wrist, through the hips, just forward and back. Scooping the belly button up off the t-shirt, starting to find that engagement through the core. Two more. One more. 
And then come back to that four point kneeling position. Toes still curl under. We're going to go back into those cat cows. We're going to exhale, bring the spine to the ceiling, hold it, lift those knees to hover. Inhale there, exhale all the way down into our happy cow. Inhale through center, exhale into that angry cat as we lift our knees to hover, hold it. Big inhale, exhale lower, and right into that happy cow. So three more like that. Think about finding that hover strong through the shoulders, hold it. Big inhale, exhale lower, and into our happy cow. Two more. Starting to warm up through the core. Think about that work through the whole body as we hover. And our exhales, we set it down. One more time. Lift and hold. Big inhale there. Exhale, lower into our happy cow. Find our neutral spine. Whack the tail a little bit like a happy puppy. We're going to reach back, take that ball out. And come all the way down to seated. How are you feeling so far, Cindy? Good. Awesome. Okay, seated on our mat, knees bent, feet flat. Put that ball between our inner thighs. Okay, so let me know how this feels on your back with the Z curve, okay? All right. Arms out long in front of us. Big inhales, we grow tall. Exhale, scoop our eyes. See her back only as far as we can maintain control. Remember, feet heavy into the mat. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale on the top. Exhale, see her back. Think, squeeze that ball. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll it up. How's this feeling? Oh, good. And it feels okay? Right now for me. Right. Just go back a little bit. No, it's good. I'm just out of shape. Don't overdo it. Stay within your range of motion. Listen to your body. Using that exhale in both directions. Two more. Inhale there. Exhale there. Inhale to the bottom. Exhale. Now this next one, we're going to hold it back. Inhale there. Exhale back. Hold it. Find that place where we can stay. Now lift a millimeter lower a millimeter. Lift a tiny bit lower. Well, good. Not a super big lift. We're still squeezing that ball. Think inner thighs engage. And five, four, three, two, one. All the way back up. How's that feel? We should feel some work through the core. It feels good. I mean, hard good. Hard good? Okay, ready? Let's do it again. Shoulders out of the ears. Inhale, grow tall. Squeeze that ball. Exhale, seat her back. Hold it. Now we're going to rotate to our right. Inhale through center. Rotate to the left. And center. And right. And center. And left. Think weight even on our hips, keeping those hips stable. Pelvis stable, knees to the ceiling. Just rotating through the center of the body. Two more to each side. Remember, rest if you need to. Back to center. We'll sit up tall. Hug those knees for a moment. Okay, we doing good? Let's take that ball out. We're going to put the ball right behind our bra strap and lay back on it. Okay, we might want the heels a little closer to us. Holding on to our knees. Now, hands come behind the head. If this doesn't work for you, across the chest is nicer. Okay? We're going to inhale all the way back over that ball. Get that extension if it feels okay. Exhale to lift. Inhale over the ball. Exhale to lift. How's this feel? Well, it feels when I have my arms spread out, it, it hurts my scar. Okay, so arms out the better? Yeah, I'm crossing. Okay. Much better. It feels okay on your upper back? Yep. Think that little lift up off the ball. We should feel lots of this upper abdominal work. And three. And two. Last one, we're going to lift and hold. Hold that lift. Now rotate to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. That ball's going to rock side to side. Exhale. Exhale. Getting that twist. Four more to each side. 
Remember, hands across the chest is nicer. Three. Two. If hands are behind the head, keep those elbows wide. When we're even, round back over that ball. Take that stretch. And Cindy, let me know how this feels. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. If it does, we want to bring the arms into goal post arms. Letting the elbows fall toward the floor. So this might be too tight on your scarf. Okay? Just hang out there. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more time, big inhale. And with our exhale, let's roll all the way up to see this. And grab that ball. Okay, how are you feeling there? It hurts like when I spread my arms. It, it right, you're tight there, right? Where you had your yeah. surgery? It'll go away. Okay. We're going to put the ball right back between our inner thighs. And we're going to lay all the way down. We're going to go into some bridging. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, arms are long by our side, heels really close to the booty. Nice tight squeeze on that ball. And we're going to imprint the low back with our exhale. Inhale, rock out to neutral. Keeping those hips down for the first few. Then just getting some movement through the lumbar spine. Using that exhale, find our imprint, that connection through the core. Inhale to neutral. One more time. And inhale to neutral. Now with our next exhale, let's scoop the abs, tuck the pelvis, start to feel the hips up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly roll down, softening through the spine. Inhale as we rock out to neutral. Exhale, scoop our abs, tuck our pelvis, peel the hips up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly roll down. The neck is long and relaxed. Head to relax, and we're pulling up just to the base of the shoulder blades. And then we find that mobility on the way down. Two more here. Use that exhale in both directions. Belly button pulling away from the t-shirt. Last one, let's peel our hips up and hold them up. Hold those hips high. Squeeze our ball. And squeeze. As we release, they don't release this ball all the way. We're just squeezing tighter each time. And tighter. And five, four, three, two. Hold that squeeze. Hinge at the hips. Tap the tailbone to the mat. Exhale back up. Inhale down. Exhale back up. Nice flat back. Think length through the spine. Still squeezing that ball as tight as we can. And four. Relaxing the shoulders for three. Hold those nice two. Last one. Lift those hips high. Big inhale there. Exhale. Soften through that mid spine. Low back as we roll down. Hug our knees into our chest. Rock side to side. Round out the low back. We're going to keep the ball between our thighs. Bring the legs to tabletop. Fingertips reach for the ceiling. So nice tabletop legs here. Squeezing that ball. We're going to exhale, lift the chest, arms along by our side. Inhale to lower. Now, as we lift, they squeeze that ball tighter. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. And three. And two. Last one, lift, squeeze, hold. Start pumping those arms. Then we inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale for four. Exhale for six. Lift a little higher. Inhale. Exhale, gaze over the knees. Inhale. Exhale, pump through those triceps. Inhale. Exhale, we're halfway there. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, squeeze tighter, inhale, lift a little higher with our exhale, two sets, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, roll it down, hug our knees, round it out. 
How are we doing? Good, I'm just out of shape. You're gonna get right back there. Okay. Woo. So we're gonna now take that ball out. Let's roll it to seated for a moment. And put that ball under our feet. So feet are on the ball, knees are bent. Okay? And lay all the way back down. Okay, we're going into some roll-ups. So I know before all this, before you little surgery, we're getting good at these. I keep forgetting stuff. What are Do what? I just keep forgetting stuff. I'm like, what is that? Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I'll come back. So fingertips overhead, spine is long, feet are pressing into that ball. With our inhale, let's nod chin to chest, bring those hands overhead, exhale, roll all the way up as we extend our legs. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I don't think I'm doing this right. Inhale there, exhale, roll down, we pull that ball toward us. Let's try again, fingertips overhead. Big inhale, nod to the chest, reach the arms overhead to the ceiling. Oh, exhale, roll it up, extend those legs. You got it, close and deep. Reach for the toes. Right now. Uh. Inhale there, exhale, slowly roll down, bringing those heels back toward our booty. There we go, just like that. Use the thighs if you need to to help yourself. Grab onto those thighs. Inhale, nod chin to chest, arms over the chest. Exhale, roll it up. Okay. Press those heels into the ball. There you go, you got it that time. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it down. Let's do two more like that. How's this feel? Good, but it's challenging. Oh, oh. You got this. There we go. One last time. Oh. Oh. As we roll up this last time, reach for those toes. Maybe grab the ankles. Maybe grab the toes. Maybe grab the sides of the feet if you can reach out. And stretch. Oof. And then we'll sit tall. Okay. Good. Good job with those roll-ups. I know those are not your favorite things. No, I, I I had them wired before the stupid procedure. Oh, I know. They're hard. Okay, we're going to keep our ankles on this ball. Okay. They're going to roll all the way back down. Keep those legs long. Arms long by our side. We're going to keep that right ankle on the ball, right heel. Bring the left leg to take it up. Check in our hips are stable here. We don't want these hips to rock. So you can even put your fingertips on your hip thumbs if you like, if that helps. Arms are wider, also helps provide some stability. We're going to take the left toes to the ceiling. We're going to do some leg circles here. Think pressing into that ball. We're going to come across our body with our inhale, down and around with our exhale. Wait. Inhale, across and down. Exhale, up and around. And inhale. Like that? Reaching the toes further. There you go. Only making these circles as large as we can control the pelvis. One more in this direction, and let's reverse. Open with our inhale, open, out and around. Open, and then up and around with our exhale. Check out with that ball, are we keeping it quiet? And two more in this direction. Last one. As our toes come to the ceiling, bring that leg back to tabletop. Find the left knee into our chest. Get that stretch. Take extension through the hip flexor on the right. Now let's stand that left leg and switch. So left heel, left ankle on the ball, right leg to tabletop again. Hips are level. Take our right toes to the ceiling. We're going to start that across the body. So we inhale across, exhale up and around. Inhale across. Exhale up and around. Think about trying to get that leg as straight as possible. Really squeeze the cock bottom step. Point the toes. Reach further. Two more in this direction. Last one. And let's reverse. Open to the side. Down and around. Inhale to open. Exhale up and around. And three. Think about that control through the bird. It helps us. Keep those hips stable. Two. One. And then leg comes to center, hug our right knee into our chest. Stretch up that hip. Good 
Beautiful. Okay. We can carefully roll it to see if it grab a sip of water if you need it. Because I'm sweating. Woo. So that should have felt nice through the hips, right? Just getting some movement. And we're going to go ahead and put that ball between our ankles. Ball between our ankles. We're going to hug our knees. Elbows are wide, feet come off the floor. Find that rolling like a ball position. Okay. We're already finding that balance on our sit bones. Think about the biceps active here. So have those elbows wide. We activate the biceps, pull into our knees. With our inhale, we're going to roll it back. Exhale, roll it up. Ooh. Rolling like a ball. Inhale back, exhale up. Think only rolling up to the Tops of our shoulder blades. We don't want to get into the neck. Into the start of the spine. Okay, we're going to do three more. We're going to change up the breath pattern. So now let's take an inhale as we balance. Exhale, roll it back. Exhale, deeper and come up. Inhale there. Exhale, roll back. Exhale, deeper, roll up. Hold that balance point for our inhale. Exhale, back. Exhale, deeper, up. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, exhale, all the way up with those feet on the floor. Okay, nice spinal massage, right? So, ball between our ankles, we're sitting tall. Arms out long. Inhale there, exhale, scoop our abs, tuck our pelvis, see her back. All the way down, arms come along by our side. Let's bring those legs to tabletop. Gently imprint the low back. We're going to extend our legs, but we still want to keep them soft, so we don't want straight legs. Squeeze that ball. We're going to inhale lower, only as far as we can go without arching through the low back. Exhale, lift. So we don't need super straight legs here. In fact, it's going to be nicer with that slight bend of the knee. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. One more like that, and we're going to add on. Now, as we lift, I want us to go ahead and lift that tailbone and then lower. So use that little bit of movement and lift the tailbone and lower. Now, if we can, as we lift the tailbone, hold it and then lower just for a second. Inhale, lift, hold, lower. Three more, lift, hold, lower. Two. Big low abdominals, that's where we should be feeling this. One more. And lower, let's hug our knees. Go all the way up to see it. How's your low back Penny? feeling, Cindy? Fine, fine. Good. challenging today for me, but it's good, good challenge. That's good, so we're taking it slow here. We're not doing a fit class or anything crazy your first day that. Okay, we're gonna put those last two pieces together. So we're going to take that rolling like a ball. We're going to go all the way into a roll over using our momentum. So if you want to watch the first one, I can show you what it looks like. A couple things to be aware of. We are not throwing ourselves into our neck. So at no point is there pressure on the cervical spine, okay? Just to the shoulder blades. So we start off in that rolling like a ball position, feet off the floor. We inhale there. We're going to roll it back, arms come long, roll all the way over until those thighs are parallel to the floor. Inhale there, exhale, roll it up, hugging those knees. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Okay, so you go. Inhale, down. roll it back, arms come by your side, use those arms to pull. <laughs> and then roll it up. There you go. Up. Beautiful. All Is that right. okay? Nice. Okay, here we go. Roll it back. Lengthen out, hold it there for a moment. Get that parallel form. Oh. And roll it up. Oh, God, that's hard. How's that feel? Good, just hard. That's good. Here we go. Let's do three more. Oh. I love these because I am not great with rollovers, and this is a nice modification. Two. Oh, I can't. Oh. One more time. Oh, oh, there, there. Beautiful, and all the way back up. Let those feet find the floor. Give yourself a high five. We're very easy. Okay. Here we go. We're going to open those legs to a straddle. 
Wall in front of us. Flex the feet. Let's roll that ball away, taking that stretch. And then roll it back. It's a nice stretch here. Now, if this bothers your low back with those legs straight, you can soften the knees and stretch. Okay? If you can't keep those legs straight, feet flex, you're going to get a deeper stretch through the inner thigh. Let's do three. Only rolling as far as it is good for your body. Two. I know you're way more flexible than me. Last one. And all the way back up. Oof. Okay, shake everything out. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So we're going to go into a little bit more ab work. Here. That's what I want. We're going to roll all the way back, bring those legs to tabletop. Ball is between our hands. We're going to lift the head and chest. Nice tabletop legs, so shins parallel far there you go. Extend the right leg. Ball is in the left hand, goes under that left leg, and switch, and switch, and switch. There you go. Gaze toward those knees. If this bothers your neck, you can always press down the head and chest. Bring more to each side. Reaching the nose further, too. Did that last night? Oh. One. And then rest the down. Oh, rock those knees side to side. Okay. Ball is in our hands, fingertips reaching for the ceiling, legs at tabletop. We're going to lift the head and chest. We're going to rotate ball to the left, extend the right leg. Wait, wait, wait. Center. To the right, extend the left leg. And center. So just getting some rotation. Remember as we extend one leg, we're still stable through the hips, stable through the pelvis, not letting those hips rock side to side. Using that exhale to twist. Three more to each side. And two. Last one. And back to center. What about the low back? You said abs today, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here we I'm go. I'm not complaining, I'm just grunting. <laughs> <laughs> I like the grunting, you know, I'm good with that. Okay, ball between the ankles. Hug those knees in and lift the head and chest. We're going to go into our double, double leg stretch. Here we go. Head and chest is lifted. Reach arms and legs away from each other. Circle those arms around, hug the knees. Inhale, extend. Exhale, circle around. Remember with this double leg stretch. This is prep for teasers. And we're keeping that chest lifted if we can as we extend the arms overhead. And three. And two. Last one. And rest it down. We're going to go ahead and take that ball out. Feet are wider than hip width. Balls in our hands reaching to the ceiling. Let the knees fall to the left as we turn our head and the ball to the right. That rotation to the center of the body. Oh, wait. Oh, like that? Just like that. Inhale there. Exhale through center. Rotate in the opposite direction. Inhale there. Exhale back to center. And roll them all the way up. Okay. So we're going to roll. I didn't realize how tight my chest would feel. It's that, it's those stitches you have in there, so be yeah, careful with it. Yeah, I mean, they're probably still in there, but he said I could exercise starting Friday. What's one day short, right? Right, well, just don't pull it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do some spinal extension. We're gonna put this all under our sternum. I like these. Right under our chest. We're oh. laying on our tummy. Wait, wait, where's your ball? Under my sternum. Wait, right, right in the middle of my chest, not my belly button, up higher. Like your sternum? Under your, yeah, sternum. Okay. Okay, toes reaching out behind us, hip width apart, so about as wide as our neck. 
Thighs press into the mat, toes press into the mat. Hands by our side. Elbows behind us. And we're gonna inhale, lift into that squat. Exhale, lower. So this ball provides a little bit of support. It should almost feel like we're trying to press the ball away with our chest as we lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And we've got three. And two. Last one. All the way down. Okay. Now we're going to bring those arms to hover if that feels okay. We're going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. I think I have it in the right. So it's not as big of a lift. And two. Scoop that belly button, press the pubic bone into that one. Now lift and hold. Extend the arms and bend. Extend and bend. And three. Two. One. And then round it down. How's that feel on your spine? Fine. Good. Okay, we're going to add on. We're going to do a breast stroke. Okay? So arms hover in tight to the side. We send those arms out in front. We're keeping the chest low. As we circle around, we lift. Lower that chest, we extend. Circle around to lift. Just like if we were swimming. Right. Okay. Thighs and toes still pressing into the mat. Cubic bone pressing into the mat. Belly button pulling away from the t-shirt. My toes are cramping. And three. Two. Not lifting so high we feel this in our low back. Last one. And then hands find the floor. Let's come on up to kneeling. Stretch it back into our child's pose, reaching our hands on that ball. Lengthening through the shoulders here. Sending the hips back over the heels for breathing. Try to reach that ball further away from us. And then with our next exhale, let's come on up. Okay, how's it feel? Good. Fine. Hard. Oh. <laughs> fine, fine. Okay. Good. So we're going to take that ball under our waist, kind of a little high on the waist, like that bottom rib. So we want the bottom rib touching the ball. And we're going to round it over the ball. Bottom leg is tucked under. Top leg out long. We're going to be on our form. Okay. Top arm long by our side. I want us to sag into our shoulder and then press away. And sag into that shoulder and press away. One more like time. This? Just like that. Now as we press away, hold it. Feel that strength through the shoulder. We're pushing the mat away from us. So now I don't want us to sag down anymore. And lifting that side body up slightly. We have that ball for support. We're going to hover that arm down on our side. Turn the palm to face behind us. Bring that foot up. Flex that foot. Leg is at hip height. We're going to point our toes, sweep forward. Flex it to sweep back. And point. And flex. Think stability through the pelvis. Now we're going to add on as we sweep forward, sweep that arm back. As we flex that foot, that arm comes forward. Oh my gosh. So it's in opposition to that leg. Think like a balance. Think that squeeze of the glute, pulling the leg back. And two. A little bit of coordination, right? Last one. Yep. And bring that leg back, even with hip. Fingertips come to the ceiling, palm faces forward. We're going to bend the knee in and kick it out. Really flex that foot, pressing through the heel. Are we still lifted up out of that shoulder? Ooh. And three. Two. One, press it out, hold it out, little circles, and circle, and circle, for three, two, one, reverse, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend it out, press it down. I fell okay. down. Okay, bottom arm comes long, top leg extends long, toes are on the floor. Wait, is your, where's the ball still there? 
Still there, still in the side body. We're rounding over that ball. Top arm reaches overhead. Okay. Now, we're going to keep that top arm overhead. All we're going to do is lift that leg and lower. Toe is pointed. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. And three. Two. One. Now let's be lift the leg. We're going to continue, but that hand comes down to the hip. And lift. And lift. And three. Ah, ouch. And two. Do you feel okay? Yeah, it's just hard. One. Now we're going to lift the head as we lift. So a little bit of a lift. Oof. Take that crunch through the side body, finding lateral movement through the spine. Oof. And four. Three. Two. One, all the way down and start to the middle. When did, you've never done these before. Is this new? It's good. It's new stuff. It's good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I did some ball research, some squishy ball research. Okay, so done with that side. We're going to sit up into our mermaid stretch. So think, we were laying on our left side. That means we have the left leg. Well, I was on my right side, sorry. Okay, so you're going to have your right leg in front of you, your left shin away. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yes, because you're mirrored to me. I keep forgetting. That ball is on your right side, hand on the ball, left arm out to the tee. We're going to press the ball away as we round over into our mermaid stretch. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, press away. Think about that left hip pressing to the mat. Inhale, back in. Two more. One more. All the way back in as we come in. Let go of that ball and counter stretch to the left side. And then we'll sit up tall. Okay. Let's do the other side. Exact same thing we just did. We're just switching sides. Now you're on your left side. All is under the bottom rib. We come down to our core. Bottom leg tucked under, top leg reaching out long. And check in here, just like we do on the other side. Sag down into that shoulder and press away. Sag down into our shoulder and press away. One more time. Now press away. Keep that shoulder strong. I don't want to see your shoulder creeping up toward your ear. Top arm reaching out one, palm faces behind us. Lift that leg to hip height, flex the heel. We're going to point our toes, sweep forward, flex it back. Checking in with our body here, finding that stability through the pelvis. And sweep, belly button scooping up and in, strong through the shoulder. Now, as that leg sweeps back, arm sweeps forward. We're adding that movement with the arm. Think squeeze the glute as we pull that leg behind us. And three. Getting movement through the ankle, too. One. Keep that leg back there. Fingertips come to the ceiling. Palm faces forward. And we're going to bend our knee in and press it back. And bend it in. Think like we're pressing something heavy away from us. Are we still strong through that bottom shoulder? Leg stays at hip height. And three, two, one. Hold the leg out there in little circles. And circle, and circle. Three, two, one. Reverse, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend it in. Hand out that hip. Okay. Bottom leg stays stuck under. We extend the top leg. Round over our ball. Bottom arm reaches out long. Top arm reaches overhead. Does this feel okay? Yes. Okay. So relax that upper body. Point the toes. We're going to lift the bottom leg and lower. And lift and lower. Check in. We're still pulling that belly button away from our shirt. Don't forget about the connection through the core. And three. Two, one, now we add the arm, and we tap our thigh. 
and four. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Now we add that lift of the head. There you go. Think about that side body crunch, that lateral movement. And three, two, one. Ow. All the way down, rest it over. And we'll come on up into that mermaid position. So now we have our left leg in front, right leg bent back, chin out to the side, ball is under the left hand, right arm out to a knee. And to press the bum away as we stretch up and over. Think about pressing that right hip to the mat. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, bring it back. Two more. Feeling that space we're creating between the ribs. Last one. All the way back in, and we counter stretch to that right side. I'm not gonna lie, that hit my, that hurt my incision on that side. On that side? Was it having the arm overhead? My incision, my incision is on my left side, like on my heart, you know, like it's right here. But well, that's okay, I didn't well, I only stretched it um, a little bit. Okay, we're gonna lay all the way down on our back. We're gonna like this one. All the way down on our back. We're gonna lift our hips, put the green or our squishy ball under our sacrum. So just above the tailbone. It's that flat part of your sacrum. Make sure you're centered on that ball. Arms are at long. Bring the right leg to tabletop, then the left. Squeeze those legs tight together. We're going to extend the toes to the ceiling. Find our balance. Our hands wider. It's going to be nicer. We're going to scissor these legs and scissor. Think about that top leg actually pulling toward our chest so we don't have to stop at 12 o'clock. And scissor. And scissor. One more to each side. And then hold it there. Hold that scissor. We're going to helicopter these legs around, back around, and we scissor. So now left toes to the ceiling. Wait, like that? Yeah, just like a helicopter. So we open out and around. Wait, out. So now the opposite legs on top, and then we helicopter back. Make sure oh, helicopter no. blades are okay. Oh, and then we switch. Crisscross? No, not crisscross. I'm All the way open, like you're making a big circle with your legs. And then reverse that circle. And then switch. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, so left toes to the ceiling, right toes out long. Wait, wait, wait. Left toes to the ceiling, right toes out long. There you go. So that left leg is going to open to the left in a semicircle. Right leg opens to the right. So we switch. Now right leg up top, left leg out long. And then we rotate that, opening to the side. So remember those single leg circles we did earlier? Like this? <laughs> Not just straight up and down. You're going to have to show me in studio. It's too I will. Okay, so let's do two more scissors. I'm going to do two more helicopters. And we're going to work on these on Monday. Okay. That's and then toes to the ceiling. Bend the knees in. Let one foot find the floor and then the other. I can't wait to do helicopters with you next week. I know, I can't wait to do all out. I have to be with you. I'm, 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 yeah. It's okay, they're not easy. Take that, that squishy ball out. Think about how flat our booty feels. And let's roll all the way up to see them. It's a little bit of coordination there for those helicopters. It's not. Yeah, that, that's one where I have to really visually see that with you. Right. Okay, we're going to take this ball, put it under our right foot. We're going to do a second set of bridging here. And we're going to lay all the way down. So ball under the right foot, the left foot is on the floor. Think 
pressing the heel into that ball. Okay, so you want to feel some work on that right side. Arms long by your side. Nice flat back. We're going to hinge it straight up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. So heel on that ball is providing some instability. We should feel the hamstring working a little more on that right side. We should feel that right glute working to keep our hips level. We've got two. Last one, lift and hold. We're going to send the ball away, pull it back. Send it away, pull it back. Keep those hips low. And three, two, one. Pull that ball back, lower the hips. Okay, we're going to put those two pieces together. So arms are long, triceps for support. We lift the hips as we extend the ball, and then we pull the ball back as we lower. Lift as we extend, lower as we come in. And four. So it's nice. Three. Two. One. All the way back in. And let's switch heels. So left heel on that ball, right heel on the mat. Arms long, we start just with that hinge. We exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Find your balance on this ball. And lift, and lower. Don't forget belly button pulling away from our shirt. Lift, and lower. And three, two, one, hold it there, extend the leg, pull it back, roll that ball away, and pull it back, try not to let the left hip drop, chest is open, shoulder blades press into the mat, and two, one, all the way back and set the hips down, and we're going to put those two pieces together, you ready? We lift and extend, roll it back as we lower Lift and extend, roll it back as we lower. And four, three, think length through the spine, protect that low back with our abs. Two, one, and then hug our knees into our chest and up the low back. Let's take our toes to the ceiling, grab on behind our thighs or calves, point and flex our toes. Two point and flex. Two point and flex. And two. And one. Hug our knees. Use our exhale, roll it on up. Calf cramp. <sighs> okay. You have me sweating for sure. Do what? You have me sweating. Well, I'm glad I have you sweating, especially because I know you have that fan blown right on you. Yep, I do, above me. Okay, so a little bit more abs. And then we're gonna do some more of those cat cows we started with and a mountain climber and then we're done. Okay, so I keep looking down at my phone because that's where I see you. So, you ready, Cindy? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna lay it back down. Sorry, I'm going to tell you, grab a sip of water if you need it. That's why I rolled it. No, it's okay. I wait till after. Okay, right foot stays on the floor, left leg to table's up. We're going to put this ball against the left thigh. With our exhale, we're going to lift the chest, roll that ball up toward our ankle. Inhale, roll it down back to table's up. So, on the right corner, I'm sure you've done these that climb a tree. Similar to that. Like this? Just extending that leg, reaching that ball toward our ankle, and right back to tabletop. And one more. And then we're going to bring that foot to the floor. We're going to do the other side. Left leg tables up, ball against that thigh. Then we lift, reach that ball for the ankle, and lower leg back to tabletop. So similar to climb in a tree. And four. Three. Two. One. All the way back down. Let the feet find the floor. 
floor for a moment. We're not going to need side to side. Okay. This is what we've been working toward. This is what we've been warming up for. Legs come to tabletop, fall against the front of the thighs. Okay. Yeah. Inhale, notch into chest. Exhale, roll up into the teaser. Reach that ball toward our ankles. Legs come back to tabletop. We roll it down. Oh my God, this is how bad my core is now. I used to be able to lift myself okay, up. Take it one step at a time if you need to. So I can't be tight. Ball against the thighs. Roll up into that modified teaser first. And then extend the legs. Roll it up. Roll it back. Okay. Roll it here. Okay, so if you have to piece the other together, that works too. <laughs> Our goal is to do it all at once. But do what feels good for your body. You're back after a month of not working out. Longer than a month. Get, oh, I can't get up there. It's so frustrating. And three. Keep those legs at tabletop to come up. That helps. And two. There you go. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. One more. I lost everything. Oh, I lost everything. It's okay. You're going to come back. Let's roll it up to see it. Bring the soles of the feet together. That's so and pour it over our toes. Stretch oh. it out. That's you not that heavy. I'm frustrated. Don't be. You're doing great. I know, but I, had, I was a rock star before I had this stupid surgery. I know, and you will be again in just a couple weeks. Okay. Let's it's pulling myself up from the chest and the tummy, like the chest part hurts too. Right, yeah, you gotta take it easy, you gotta come back slow. Okay, let's come into our four point kneeling position. Last little bit. Okay, we're gonna go back to those cat cows that we were doing earlier where we we're lifting the knees, but we're gonna add on. Okay. So, toes curled under, inhale in there, with our exhale, come into that angry cat as we lift our knees to hover. Inhale, flatten the back. And then exhale, sit the knees down. Inhale there. Exhale, round through the spine as we lift the knees. Inhale into a nice flat back. Exhale lower. Inhale there. Exhale, round through the spine as we lift. Hold it as we inhale back into a neutral spine. Exhale lower. Do more like that. Exhale, lift. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, lower. One more. Exhale, cat back, lift. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, lower. Okay, now we're going to come up. Hold the lift. So round through the spine. Exhale, lift. Inhale, neutral spine. Hold it. Extend the right leg behind us. Then the left. Right knee comes into hover. Then the left. Right. Left. Right, left, taste just in front of our fingertips, neck is long, strong through the shoulders, slow and control, like a mountain climber, but slower. Two more. I had to build those chest muscles back. You're going to be there. One more. And then as we bring those knees into hover, sit it down, open the knees wider than our shoulders, Stretch it back into our child's pose. Oh. Let's walk our hands to the right side of our mat. Stretch through the left side of our body. Let's walk our hands to the left side of our mat. Stretch through the right side of our body. Ugh. Back to center one more time. Stretch a little deeper. And then we'll come up. To four point kneeling, curl the toes under. Hike those hips to the ceiling, find our down dog. Oof. We're up stretch, body's up stretch. While we're there, let's bend one knee, press the other heel to the mat, and switch. And switch. And switch. Oof. One more time. When we're even, soften those knees, walk our hands to our toes. Hang heavy at the bottom of our roll now. 
Maybe gently nod our head yes. Maybe gently shake our head no. Oof, back to center, soften the knees, scoot the abs, tuck the pelvis, roll it up. Restacking this way, one piece at a time. Heads last to come up. When it does, let's roll the shoulders back and down. Back and down one more time. Let's keep them there forever and ever and always. Let's hold one hand up in front of us. Give ourselves a high five. We're going to hurt this 